Hey everyone, Dominic here. And if you haven't seen the news recently, GameStop stocks have gone absolutely crazy. Like, really crazy. Yesterday, the stocks reached almost $500, which is up from just $50 last week, which is way up from those sub $15 price tag way back in December. Now, if you're like a lot of people, myself included, you're probably wondering how the hell did GameStop become a Fortune 500 company after being a dying retailer just a month ago? Now, let's take a look and break down these current events. Let's get started. All right, so let's go over what's happening. Melvin Capital, which is a financial institution known as a hedge fund, enacted a financial strategy known as short selling. Now, this is when a firm borrows shares from a company and sells them at the market price. So that way they can go and buy them later at a cheaper price for when the value of the company goes down. Then they give the cheaper shares back to the person who loaned them the stocks in the first place, plus a little fee. A fee? A fee, nothing more. Let's throw some numbers in to better understand. If a firm went on to borrow two shares from a lender and pay, let's say, a $2 fee, they could then go on to sell those shares for $10 each. When company A's stock falls in price to, let's say, $5, they purchase the shares back. Then they give the cheaper stocks back to the lender. Overall, when they sold the stocks, they made $20. Minus the $2 fee, Minus the $10 to buy the stocks back, that leaves them a profit of $8. In a case like this, firms are placing a bet that the company is actually going to fall in value over time. This, however, is a risky move, since if the stock price were to go up, the firm would still be on the hook, and they'd have to buy the stocks back at a higher price in order to rectify their accounts with their lender. Enter Wall Street Bets. This is a Reddit forum with over 5.5 million members which focus on buying and selling stocks. A few people on this subreddit actually noticed that certain stocks like GameStop, AMC Movie Theaters, Blackberry, and Nokia were actually short sold. By how much? Like really short sold. About 140% short sold. But alright, what does this all mean? It means that firms like Melvin Capital basically borrowed about 140% of GameStop stock. Let me say that again. They borrowed 140% of something. They borrowed more shares than what actually exists. So when it comes time to return all those shares, they will need to go and buy them back. Swinging back all the way to Wall Street bets, a few of its members realize that Melvin Capital will have to buy back the stocks and a lot of them. So what did Reddit do? They bought and they bought and they bought, driving the price of these shares way up. To the moon and to the planets beyond. Trying not to get caught with their pants down though, the fund company started buying shares back to help prevent their losses, which made the prices go up even more. This is known as a short squeeze. What does that mean? Both investors and the firms are buying and holding the stocks. The firms at this point are just trying to prevent even greater losses, while the investors are holding on for even bigger profits. A very similar situation was with Volkswagen way back in 2008 and 2009, where for a brief moment, the car company was the most valuable company in the world. So to recap all this, Melvin Capital needs to buy a lot of shares to cover all the ones that they borrowed. Investors like those from Wall Street Bets are buying the shares to eventually sell them for huge profits. So far, investors have gone on to cost the hedge funds billions since they have to buy back all these stocks at such premium prices. They pay a premium. In order to make the most out of stocks, investors need to buy a lot of shares. And a group of people on Reddit only have so much money to spend. Introducing the power of the internet. We all know the power of social media, and over the past few days, it's been working overtime. A lot of influential and powerful people on social media have been weighing in on the course of events. You have people like Elon Musk, whose simple tweet, Game Stonks, 
drove the shares from $150 up to $230. You have the likes of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ted Cruz even agreeing on something. And memes. Lots and lots of memes. One of the most uniting factors is actually Robinhood. Now, Robinhood is an app that lets people buy and sell stocks for no commissions. Now, due to how easy it is, a lot of new investors turn to it to get their toes wet in the market. It is reported that 56% of Robinhood users now own GameStop shares. However, Robinhood users found themselves unable to purchase popular stocks like GameStop, Nokia, and AMC, for instance. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. This has led to quite the, uh, we'll call it a situation. These stocks took quite the hit yesterday when investors could only sell their shares. But institutions like the hedge funds, which includes Melvin Capital, could continue to buy and sell. This has led Robinhood to receive a number of lawsuits and a huge hit to their ratings in the App Store. Since this is all still developing, we're definitely going to cover Robinhood in a future video, so be sure to subscribe so you can catch that episode. But this is where we are today. GameStop and other stocks are still super high, but it's Friday, and with the markets being closed over the weekend, we're going to have to wait and see what transpires. Wait and see. We're going to have a lot more content on this topic coming out really soon. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can catch all of it. And while you're over there, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this type of a video. This is Dominic signing off with a financial fixation.